The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, has made an astonishing and wholly unexpected discovery. From its sensitive vantage point in space, it has detected what appear to be city-like lights shining from the surface of Proxima Centauri b, a rocky exoplanet orbiting the closest known star to Earth. This finding, gathered through the JWST's advanced infrared instruments, has sent shockwaves through the scientific community and ignited the public's imagination across the globe. These lights resemble the artificial illumination we see from orbit around Earth when observing cities lit up at night. But in this case, they seem to be emanating from a planet located more than 7 trillion miles away. This discovery has stirred up age-old debates about the existence of extraterrestrial life, prompting the extraordinary question, could these lights be evidence of an intelligent alien civilization for generations? Scientists have searched the stars for even the faintest signs of life beyond Earth. Now, Humanity may be witnessing for the very first time signs of technological development occurring light years away. The glow is eerie, but also deeply fascinating. It could represent not just biological life, but intelligent and organized societies capable of generating and sustaining artificial light. These lights were first identified as peculiar thermal signatures on the night side of Proxima Centauri. B a planet already under heavy scientific scrutiny due to its position within the habitable zone of its host star, the red dwarf Proxima Centauri. What made these findings so unusual was that the heat emissions didn't align with expectations for a rocky planet merely absorbing and ray-radiating starlight. Instead, the patterns bore a remarkable resemblance to artificial lighting, steady, geographically concentrated, and lacking any identifiable natural source, David Kipping, an astrophysicist at Columbia University, explained that a planet like Proxima b should emit heat in predictable ways, if it's only being influenced by its nearby star. However, these thermal anomalies stood out significantly from model predictions, rather than showing the usual absorption and emission cycle seen in similar exoplanets, Proxima Centauri b exhibited a persistent localized heat signature on the side not facing its star. This unexpected thermal pattern led some to propose that artificial illumination might be the cause. Equipped with state-of-the-art infrared detection systems, the JWST is capable of detecting even the faintest of thermal emissions across immense cosmic distances. This gives it a distinct edge in identifying tiny variations in temperature, light frequency and heat dissipation all of which can point toward artificial sources of activity. Its ability to distinguish between broad-spectrum sunlight and narrowband artificial light offers a unique advantage in identifying illumination that doesn't appear to come from natural origins. What makes the lights on Proxima Centauri be even? More intriguing is their frequency. They fall within a band consistent with engineered energy emissions far narrower than those produced by stars or by sunlight reflecting off planetary surfaces. This suggests that the lights may be generated by artificial structures powered by an intelligent source. One leading theory posits that, if Proxima be hosts life, then perhaps an advanced civilization has constructed massive solar arrays on the perpetually sunlit side of the tidally locked planet, collecting energy and transferring it to the dark hemisphere a tidally locked planet, by definition, always shows the same face to its star. One side remains in constant daylight, while the other is trapped in eternal night. In such a world, intelligent inhabitants would likely need to develop large-scale energy infrastructure to redistribute energy and ensure both hemispheres remain habitable. The consistent lighting observed on the night side might be the result of such a system where energy harvested from the star-facing side is stored and used to illuminate or heat the opposite side dot though bold, this hypothesis isn't implausible. Humanity is itself advancing towards similar energy systems, with increasing interest in solar power and wireless energy transmission. For any civilization trying to thrive on a tidally locked planet, developing such a solution would be a logical step moreover. The observed lights don't flicker or shift in the chaotic manner one would expect from natural 
phenomena such as lightning storms or volcanic eruptions. Instead, they appear steady, structured, and geographically organized, further reinforcing the possibility of artificial origin. If confirmed, these patterns of light might contain even more information, perhaps subtle fluctuations, rhythmic patterns or deliberate modulation that could constitute signals. This breakthrough, though thrilling, is being met with scientific skepticism and caution. As with all extraordinary findings in astronomy, the bar for evidence is extremely high. Researchers must carefully eliminate every natural explanation. Before concluding that the lights are artificial, there are, indeed, natural processes that could mimic such infrared signatures. Volcanic heat vents, unusual geothermal activity, bioluminescence, or even surface reflections from crystalline or metallic minerals might account for what JWST is detecting. Because of this, scientists are conducting highly detailed analyses, studying not just the light emissions themselves, but their spectral patterns, periodicity, and consistency. Dot to make a compelling case for artificial illumination, the light signatures must be stable, repeatable, and structured, not transient or random. That's why researchers are comparing the thermal output of Proxima Centauri b across multiple time windows, searching for consistent geographic placement and recurring patterns. These traits are hallmarks of engineered systems rather than natural. Variability dot in tandem with this, astronomers are also investigating the planet's atmosphere. JWST is sensitive enough to analyze the starlight that passes through a planet's atmosphere during transit when the planet crosses in front of its star. This allows scientists to look for specific absorption features that indicate the presence of gases, such as ozone, methane, water vapor, and oxygen, compounds typically associated with life. While directly detecting oxygen remains difficult, the presence of ozone and methane together in the right balance can serve as indirect evidence of biological processes. Should these gases be identified, they would support the argument for habitability. When combined with the nature of the observed light patterns, the atmospheric data could either bolster or weaken the case for artificial illumination. For instance, if the planet shows signs of a breathable atmosphere, stable surface temperatures, and reasonable pressure, then the conditions for life and possibly technology become more plausible. Proxima Centauri B's short orbital period, just over 11 Earth days, offers a unique advantage. JWST can observe multiple transits in a relatively short amount of time, which increases the volume and quality of data scientists can collect. Additionally, its proximity, just over for light years from Earth, makes it one of the few exoplanets where such high-resolution analysis is currently possible. But JWST is only the beginning of this endeavor dot looking ahead. Scientists eagerly await the launch and activation of next-generation ground-based telescopes like the extremely large telescope ELT, which is expected to begin operations later this decade. Instruments like ELT will bring even greater resolution and sensitivity allowing researchers to perform more detailed chemical analyses of exoplanetary atmospheres and possibly even obtain direct images of surface features or artificial light sources. Future observational technologies will include starshades and coronagraphs, devices that block out a host star's blinding light, enabling clearer observation of dim planets nearby. These tools will help isolate the faint signals that might otherwise be lost in stellar glare making it easier to detect artificial sources of light or heat. Despite all this progress, the city-like lights on Proxima Centauri b remain among the most compelling discoveries. In the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, if verified, the implications are nothing short of staggering. Humanity would no longer be alone in the universe. We would, for the first time in history, be observing the infrastructure of another society, a civilization that has built, illuminated, and perhaps even reached beyond its world. Institutions like the SETI Institute, which have long listened for alien radio signals, have received this news with renewed purpose. While radio-based searches have yet to yield definitive results, the combination of optical, infrared, 
and radio observations might finally bring us to the brink of confirmation. This discovery also sparks profound philosophical, cultural, and existential questions. How would the human race respond emotionally, politically, and spiritually to proof that we are not alone? Would this revelation unify humanity under a shared cosmic perspective? Or would it deepen existing divides? Would we seek contact or choose cautious silence? These questions touch something deeper than science. They speak to our identity, our purpose, and how we see our place in the cosmos dot over the coming months and years. JWST will continue its observations. Other observatories will join the effort, helping to probe Proxima Centauri B more thoroughly. Repeated data collection, atmospheric profiling, and thermal imaging may eventually provide the answers we seek.